Tim Daup will now take his 2013 squad to Ohio Northern on Saturday to put a bow on his second season as the leader of the Otterbein University football program. The Cardinals will look to finish with a winning record. They currently sit at 5-4. and four. Kickoff is set for 1.30 p.m. If you can't make the trip, you can still listen to the game as WOBN will have all the action from Ada. Get to 97.5 FM on your radio or stream live on your computer or smartphone by going to WOBN.net. Connie Richardson will begin her 23rd season as the head coach of the women's basketball team here at Otterbein just a year after finishing with 21 wins and just 7 losses. The Cardinals were bounced in the first round of the NCAA tournament after finishing second in the OAC behind the Polar Bears of Ohio Northern. The ladies will take the court for the first time tomorrow in Franklin, Indiana. After an up and down season in year number one of, Todd Adrian's era, of the Todd Adrian era, the Otterbein men's basketball team looks to make steady progress here in year two. An 8-19 and 19 season a year ago isn't something the Cards want to repeat, but the coaching staff does understand that with such a young team, there will certainly be some hardships along the way. We started recruiting, put a product on the court um, that they're going to be proud of. The men's basketball team, like the women, will tip off their season tomorrow night at 6 p.m. in Cleveland, Ohio against Kenyon College. On to Monica McDonald and the Otterbein volleyball team who is currently just outside Chicago in Elmhurst, Illinois, looking to take another step toward an NCAA national championship. DePaul University stands in the way of the Cardinals as, the Otter, as Otterbein tries to get through round one of the tournament for the first time in program history. Welcome back, Harrison Ralph here with your Cardinal Sports Report. Late this past spring, the Cardinals welcomed in a new leader but a familiar face. Former Cardinal tennis player and 1998 Otterbein graduate Dawn Stewart returned to her alma mater to take the reins of the Otterbein athletic program. I sat down with our new AD and asked for her thoughts on the recent fall athletic season. From my standpoint, this fall better and, and that's where we're going to start. Dawn Stewart was given the immediate challenge of filling a head coaching position as soon as she was announced athletic director back on April 9th. Cards are 2-2 two and two on the young season and begin OAC play Saturday as they travel to Marietta to face the Pioneers. Adrian and his squad were picked to finish ninth in the Ohio Athletic Conference this season. On to women's basketball now as we take a look at Connie Richardson's team that has gotten off to a solid 3-1 start. After losing two of the top players to ever come through the program to graduation in Christy Cotterman and Shea McCoy, the Cards will look for new leadership this year. David Kinder has more. Welcome to the Sports Report, I'm Harrison Ralph. After a tough loss on the road to Marietta, Otterbein opened up home play on Tuesday against the Wittenberg Tigers. At 4-1 and one on the season with double-digit victories over Marietta and Capital, the Tigers were thought to have the upper hand. Coach Adrian's Cardinals proved they were up to, to the task, though, as they came away with the 85-80 win. Otterbein TV's Jordan Brown caught up with Coach Adrian and Max Van Meter after the game. Otterbein improved to 3-3 three and three as Adrian picked up his 100th career win on Tuesday, and he'll look to add to that this Saturday when the team hosts Muskingum in the Reich Center. On to the women's side, Coach Richardson's squad now has a winning streak standing at 5 as they knocked off Marietta at home Wednesday night, 70-57. Otterbein improves to 5-1 and one with the win and 1-0 and oh in the OAC. Jordan Brown caught up with Coach Richardson and Tabitha Piper after the game. Lady Cardinals will now turn their sights ahead to Muskingum, who they will face on the road Saturday afternoon. That's all for sports. Now back to Kayla. Tough 74-60 loss on the road to Baldwin-Wallace last Saturday. Otterbein played host to the Ohio Northern Polar Bears on Wednesday night in the Reich. Aaron Reinhardt has more. Otterbein falls to 7-13 with the loss to Ohio Northern on Wednesday. This Saturday, the Cards will travel north to Alliance, where they will play against Mount Union. The first time these two teams met this year, Otterbein suffered a six-point loss, 66-60. On to lacrosse now, the men's lacrosse team traveled to Alliance to take on the 5-6 Mount Union Purple Raiders. The teams were deadlocked at four heading into the pivotal fourth quarter. OU then exploded for eight fourth quarter goals and took control of the game, 12-5, which would end up being the final. Andrew Donatelli and Mikey O'Neill each had three goals. Now switching gears, we will talk about the women's basketball team. Going into Wednesday night, the Cardinal women were riding a 10-game win streak. On Wednesday night, though, Connie Richardson and her girls had the daunting task of going up to Ada, Ohio to play the Polar Bears of Ohio Northern. Ohio Northern was ranked 6th in the most recent D3 poll going into last night and also undefeated in the OAC. 
Otterbein suffered only their fourth loss of the season. The score was 65-42. to Leading scorer of the cards, Hannah Day, was held scoreless in the game. Mount Union is next on the schedule for the women. Mount Union and Otterbein are tied for second place in the OAC standings. The Cardinal women lost 77-62 to to the Purple Raiders the first time. With a win Saturday, the women's team uh, could cement themselves as the possible two-seed in the OAC tournament, which is only a couple weeks away. If you can't attend the game at the Reich, all the action can be found here on Otterbein TV. Well, that's all we have for sports this week, and back to John.